No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Today, I got a, a repeat guest, one of my favorite West Coast rappers, I think it's safe to say, EBK Jbo in the building. Southeast, free play. How you feeling? Hey, Max, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great. Last time we interviewed you, it was under the uh, influence of the fact that you had just got out from doing some time, facing a charge, and now... Here we are, same thing. You were just locked up for a while. Yeah, like six months. Six months. Yeah, six months. What happened? You know, a little misunderstanding. You know, I got, uh, you know, got pulled over. They tried to say something about some guns, allegedly. I don't know, it's crazy. So there weren't any guns, or or there were? I guess, that's what they said. I don't know nothing though. And you're especially not supposed to be around that kind of thing because you're on a... Yeah, nah. Ain't supposed to be around no guns, so they charged me a couple gang enhancements, but I got bail. I mean, you could get caught littering and there would be a gang enhancement at this point, huh? Yeah, for sure. Damn, that's crazy. Um, So how was it? How was the... Jail? This time around, yeah. Regular couple fades here and there, you know. Same old... Yeah, a couple of fades, but I, I was chilling this time. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't really had to fade a lot of because I already had faded a lot of the last time I was in there. And you uh, earned your respect that time around. Something like that, you feel me? Okay. It's cordial, it's cordial in there. So what's life like in there? What, what were you up to? It was, it was all the same. You just sort of politicking with everybody, talking to them all day, or was there anything in particular you got into? No, nah, I ain't really in politics in the county like that, like. I mean, it's their own section. It's like the blacks got their own section. But, like, ain't really no heavy politics, though. Like, so it's just regular. what? Just the blacks and the Mexicans? Yeah, it's the black blacks right here. Pisces upstairs. Uh, woods over there. North days. It's all uh, sectioned out in the pods. With the woods? I want my mind a few that I with it over there. That was cool. And be on the yard. Like chopping it up, it's highlighting it though, but wasn't really locked in, locked in with them. But it was some cool woods though. Right. What can you rely on them for anything in particular? They got like uh, any good spreads or anything? I'm always hearing about the South Side spread. Nah, we don't really let other races mm. in the county. We wasn't really letting other races cook our food. To be honest, but that's a big no-no, huh? Yeah, nah, we wasn't doing that. But you feel me? Probably had some weed or some some zar. Oh, really? The white boys got the zar. It, it, it'd be rare though, but you never know. Here and there, it'd be like, oh, what got it? Really? Yeah, for sure. I'll be that white boy. I'll be the white boy with the zar <laughs> for sure. No, probably not. I'm not hooping. The, <laughs> I'm not hooping the zaza to get that in there. Yeah, yeah, you gotta do some crazy shit in there. That's not for me. But uh, all right, well, when you look at the situation, the guy you locked up though, were you moving crazy or were you just on some? Regular, shit. like, is it something that you feel like you learned? Fr you've learned from, or was it For just? Surely, I learned from everything. I learned from that completely. You feel me? Just slipped up. You feel me? And I gotta tighten up. They gotta tighten it up and don't get put in that situation again. Right. Well, that's good. It's it's nice to have you back because I I noticed that your team had the music coming out pretty consistently while you were locked up. And shit, right. Yeah, to keep it pushing. Right. So, wh how do you feel about the the overall? Health of the Stockton rap scene at this point. Stockton rap scene, for me. Is it going up still, or is it is it leveling off? Because I feel like you guys are like the hottest ones. Yeah, we 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 doing what we we doing what we supposed to do. You feel me? We doing what we here to do. But I feel like Stockton do got it like a big rap scene right now. I feel like Stockton is going crazy. For me, it's a it's a lot of rappers in Cali now, though. It's a lot of everybody want to rap. Right. For me, the Cali got a. Big rap scene, you feel me? And it's buzzing too, so. Right. I feel like Stockton play a big part in that, though. I feel like Stockton's like a little mini Chicago in the middle of California. Yeah, Stockton turn. It's just like a crazy ass rap scene. Like, like LA is so much bigger, has so many more people. There's definitely popular rappers out of LA and stuff. I don't want to take anything away from them, but it just feels like there's enough noise coming out of Stockton that I, I stay more interested in what's going on up there. But that's also, you know, it's a lot of the, the drama and the gossip and it keeps me a little engaged. 
Yeah, Stockton, it, it, it's a lot going on out there. Definitely. Yeah, it's a lot going on out there. But you're, you're not there anymore, right? No, nah, I don't going out there. You stay out of town. Yeah, I'm out the way with it. It's just not worth it anymore for you? or Stockton? Yeah. Feel me? I came from that. You feel me? I'm going to double back on that. That's, that's the past. I'm past that. Definitely. It's probably probably a good idea. Um, I don't know. There was part of me that thought that we were never going to sit down again. What you thought it was over? You thought it was going to I thought you might hold it against me. We had some people on the show that maybe weren't big fans of you. Who? Oh, because you were locked up. Maybe you don't know. Maybe I shouldn't mention it. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> DC uh, guest starred on an episode of the podcast. Oh, DC baby Draco? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a funny guy. I don't, I don't f with bro. He a blogger. Right. Yeah, he, that's what he just do. He go on YouTube and do what people go watch his YouTube for. And you, you can't hold that against him? Because to me, the nah. bloggers are just like rappers. Yeah, I mean, he ain't no street nigga, so it's like, that's not what I get, the vibe I get from bro, you feel me? He do his little YouTube, and he stay information that he feel like is true, and in his own words, and people like watching that go up. That's what he's supposed to do. He's a YouTuber. Right. I mean, I, do you think what, what he does is, like, totally different than what you do? Because to me, it's like what you do kind of what he does, but you do it over a beat, and you're more artistic with it, whereas he's more, like, just talking and trying to state facts or whatever. But to be honest, the bloggers are kind of artistic, too, because they just be kind of coming up with rumors and gossip, and who knows how much of that shit just comes I mean, straight out of their brain, right? I mean, it can fall in the same category because it's entertainment, but, like, he does a lot more shit than normal bloggers do and I'm really like that and he's not so it's like we can't be compared you feel me he's, he's just a blogger I rap but is is there a little bit of history with that because I've seen no. Trey B I think on the VBC shout out to the VBC and he was talking to them and saying that you guys used to all be cool and then like something happened he felt that. disrespected he kind of split off nah I don't know but he do his YouTube shit when he was doing his YouTube shit when I came home. he was, I seen him doing a couple videos. It was funny. It's cool. I don't know what happened. He got on my ass. It's, it's regular. It is what it is. That's not the only nigga on YouTube that you feel me that be trying to slender niggas images. You feel me? So it's like, I ain't tripping. But he's kind of making the, the Stockton world his, his bread and butter. And specifically the EBK it's world. It's funny. Yeah. It's funny to me, bro. I'm not tripping off of it, bro. Like. It don't make me feel no type of way I don't f that nigga. For me, he was just in the county. Right, he got five years, right? Yeah, I don't know. I, I really ain't getting all of that. He was just in the county right here, though. For me, niggas would have ran across each other. That would have been that. But, like, he ain't my op or nothing. I don't hate that nigga. But if I you watch see that him, shit. That shit funny as f You see him in the county, it's a fade? You need that? <laughs> <laughs> niggas probably, what do you feel me, got into something. You feel me? <laughs> I think he's probably would have gotten us. I mean, we probably would have, for me, checked Tim, see what was going on. We might have been able to cool shit off and be be friends after that, right? Nah, we ain't doing that. Oh, so it's, it's a different kind of squabble? You fight and then nah, nothing changes? Nah, ain't no different type of squabble. Niggas is probably the guy down, and that was that. Because you feel me? I don't f*** with him. Right. I don't f*** that nigga, bro. That nigga ain't, you feel me? F*** that nigga. We would have got down, and then it would have just been that. Oh, yep, it's good. Do your thing. Right. And do my thing. Do you think that the Stockton music scene was better before it had all these people offering up opinions for views on YouTube and whatnot, or is that just part of the scene getting bigger? That come with the territory. I just come with it. I just come with it. I don't know. Right. It's all publicity, though. You feel me? Everybody watch that shit. They're like, it should be funny sometimes. Sometimes it'd be like, oh, dang. That ain't even true for real, but. What about like him going and meeting up at the park and doing interviews with people that you don't get along with who don't even make music and shit? <laughs> I'm learning about all kinds of new personalities yeah, yeah, yeah. last night. I'm doing my Googles. I'm like, damn, this is just a dude from the block. He's just talking to random people. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, bro. Interviewer, you feel me? An officer. I don't know. <laughs> that, like, I don't know what blood be doing. That nigga, like. He pushing up on, I don't know, he he found bro, did the interview with him. He, he doing his thing. I hope he getting paid for it. 
Yeah, he's making some money. Well, not now that he's locked up, but. Yeah, that's respectable. Let him, let him do his thing. That's what he That's what he on this earth to do. We always put on this earth to do different things, different roles to play. Uh-huh. Everybody ain't dogs. You feel me? Bird just him. He in his own lane. Right. So he can stay over there. I'm over here. I ain't worried about him. I got a lot of respect for you, though, because when I was learning about this whole situation last night, I seen you do some some shit that I consider very uh, mature and, and mannish that I don't necessarily always expect rappers to do, which is you talked about a situation while you were locked up where you had to do a, a fade against somebody who uh, didn't get along with your side. Yeah. And yeah. you and you just acknowledge like yeah he, he was way bigger than me and he whooped my ass and you know my kept it pushing and yeah, actually it happened twice man. right yeah he, <laughs> you know what I mean? he socked on me niggas lose some niggas win some bro right I'm not the type of nigga that's gonna you feel me slam try to slander a nigga because he got whooped on or if a nigga go in there and catch his fate and he match aggression with aggression every time though know, like nigga you stand on business. Nigga, win or lose, it don't matter. You, you, your gangster solidified. You standing on business. So my mama, like, I respect a nigga if he catches fades. So I caught all my fades. I lost that fade, though. It is what it is, though. Right. There's consequences for everything you do in life. I mean, if somebody says, fuck the Southeast. Oh, yeah. It's, it's over, right? Me? It's consequences. I don't you feel me. It's consequences for everything you do in life. Right. Yeah, he But I was interested in the rules of that because you said he came back afterwards and was pissed off because apparently you scratched his eyeball during yeah. the fight. So then you had to fight again. But, like, if it wasn't for that, would it have just been like, all right, we got that fight out of the way and now we're going to see each other and shit's going to be nah, whatever? Nah, because he didn't know who I was. So, bro, when it called, he called home. Like, hey, bro, who this little nigga? After we fought the first time. Feel me, niggas told him, like, oh, that's woo up. He did this, made this song. So, Bird did his homework, came back, and then it was that. We had to get down again, you feel me? We got that out the way. He did his thing. I took the L. It is what it is. Nigga ain't never knocked me out or nothing, no. But niggas could have that. Them niggas need that more than I need it. You feel me? I don't get no rank in the hood for fighting that nigga. Right. Nigga ain't nobody, you feel me? But it's good. That can have that. You would me. Took the L. It is what it is, man. It's crazy though. Cause when I was reading the comments, it's like I didn't see any comments like clowning you or acting like whatever. It was just yeah, straight it, up. it is what Everybody it is. Everybody respected like, it. The fuck they gonna say? Niggas lose fights. Like it is what it is. I ain't get knocked out, drop. I ain't get black eye, none of that. Like, right, but you're too big for a fade on the outside at this point. On the outside? Yeah, like similar situation. Like I, I just don't really see you choosing to nah, go it, it fight depend, in the alley. It's depending on the situation. You know, you got to pay attention and move strategic at all times. So, like, if nigga in a situation where a nigga can't, like, you feel me, take it all the way there, and they're going to have to right, probably get a nigga together real quick. <laughs> all right. Get a nigga together real quick. You feel me? So if you see him at church, you might have to just swabble. Oh, but... church. I don't go to church. Okay. But, but... Shit, you, you feel me? Something like There's that. different situations, you feel me, you do different things. I mean, you never know what could happen at church, you feel me? Right. But so does that pr that prison shit all turn into, like, real-life shit if it goes unaddressed at a certain point? Like, what that mean? Like, if you lose a fight in prison and then you see the person on the outside, does this war continue from there? It depends on the type of nigga you put your hands on. Right. You feel me? You can't just, you I me? Mean, it's some niggas that's not on nothing, though, so, like, I go sock on that nigga, and it's like, man, sock on you, do you weird dinner, spit on you and hell shit. You ain't, I ain't worried about you. But just, you feel me, it's the nasty nigga over there. You might go put your hands on him, and he might have a vendetta and probably really stand on business and go, go do something new. Yo, everybody is standing on business now. Yeah, nowadays it's like the new pair of Jordans standing on business. <laughs> Drake, Drake kind of claimed it because he said it a bunch of times on the new album. What, standing on business? He's standing on business too. Everybody's standing on business. Yeah, you got to stand on business. But everybody got their different businesses that they standing on. You feel me? We over here in a whole different lane standing on a whole different type of business. Right, yeah. It's not like business, like, you know, opening up a fucking quickie mart and making some Exactly, some but shakes. you never know. Some niggas, that might be their business they standing on. And they got to stand on it because if somebody shows up and they want to shoplift, it's time to stand yeah. on business within our business. Exactly. It's like a different type of business, too, because it's like B-I-D-N-E-S-S. Yeah, you feel me? We got our hands in a lot of activities, though, so we standing on a lot of businesses. Yeah. You feel me? We just, they getting stand on, for sure. And if you stand on your money, you're 6'4", or what, what was they say in the song? Uzi? You want to listen to Uzi? Is that Uzi? <laughs> it 
Who's that? Who's calling? <laughs> Who's that? Oh, honey bun. Oh, there's so many EBK members. I was just wondering if it was going to be one of them. Nah, hell no. Nah. It's a little honey bun, bro. Oh, really? Yeah, you know how I go. Honey bun. Trying to When's the last time you had a, a honey bun? A honey bun? <laughs> a real one? or No, the real one. Like from the Quickie Mart. 7-Eleven, whatever it might be. Oh, Shit, I, even I have those just had one. I ain't going to lie. Southeast. I've been eating everything from 2-1, 7th Street. Because how long? You only been home like a few days now, or? Yeah, well, how's that going? Since like a Friday or something. Friday, that's crazy. I'm so glad I tapped in. Yeah, but my mama got caught in a couple days. Because last time you were fresh out, but you had been out for like 30 days. Yeah. So are you still 60 days or 40? Not 40 days. You still seeing everything mm -hmm. for the first time? Like, does it just feel feel a little different after being nah, it's regular. Up? It's just regular. It's regular. I don't know. We can't uh, underestimate J Bo. I mean, you've been you've been through it enough times that it's just nothing new at this point. Man, bro, I don't feel like nobody should have to go through that. I ain't gonna say it's nothing, mm -hmm. but it is what it is, though. You feel me? Nigga gonna get through anything life throw at a nigga. But you still have to go on trial, or or you still have to. Yeah, I'm still fighting the case right now as we speak. Uh huh. So free me. The chains ain't all the way off. Yeah, so is that kind of... Free Max and playing him. That's always in the back of your head right now? Nah, we don't think about shit like you that. You just don't think about it? You just keep it moving? Positive, positivity, peace, love, and happiness. A lot of the rappers I know have that sort of stoic mind state when they get locked up that it seems like they're not even thinking about it. And I'm like, bro, if I was facing trial, I would be thinking about it nonstop every day. It's like the only thing I'd be able to think about. Program. Huh? Program. Pay program. attention. Have your program. Pay attention. Stay on point. Stay on business. You're going to be good. You ain't going to be thinking about no court. I guess it's different for you, too, because you know what it's like being in there. And, like, I never really. I, I went to, uh, like, the holding cell in Manhattan for, like, 24 hours. It's, like, one of the worst things I ever had to deal with. It was just, just a day. It was so bad. It was so shitty. I had to sleep with my shoe as a pillow. I don't, I don't wish jail upon nobody, but if you ever happen to go, it's not how you think. You're not going to be in there sick every day like, damn, bro, Cornelia got tablets and hella shit. Dinner got a phone in there, and a tablet, a phone, like you do hella shit on there. So they let you, don't feel like jail, bro. They let you have a tablet now. Yeah. Even if you're on 22-hour lockdown, though, it's still not going to feel like jail, though. You in your cell all day, but it's not going to feel like jail with that tablet. But what can you do on the tablet? Nigga, movies, nigga, uh... Law library, nigga, uh, use the phone, nigga, all day from 8 o'clock in the morning to uh, uh, 10 55. So you can call your loved ones and stuff, but you can't be on the gram or anything? There's, nah, you no. can't do all that. But all that shit that you doing within a day, bro, that shit make the day pass. Then you get to you a little cool pod or something, you're in a game, you're in a pod, you out your room all day with a tablet. People steal tablets, or is it like assigned to your name? So there's like yeah, it's your name, nigga. Ain't steal tablets. It used to be like nigga J cats in there that'd do shit like that, but they wouldn't even steal it. They'd just take it and put it in their room, <laughs> and niggas would be looking for the tablet and they have it. Like, right, J cats shit, but niggas ain't stealing tablets. Nah, no, shout out to these. Do you see uh, Young Thug's girlfriend said that he just the whole time he's been locked up, he just plays can Candy Crush. Pretty much. I mean, that's crazy, because a lot of people were calling her a snitch, saying, like, oh, like, she's ratting him out for the fact that he got a phone. But I'm like, they're probably talking about the tablet, I would think. Does the tablet have games like that, though? Yeah, you get all this shit on the tablet, nigga. I had Madden on there. Not Madden, but it was, uh, like, Blitz or some shit like that. Football games and shit. They had hella shit on there. Southeast. Right. Um, you had a little bit of an issue with our security last time. It was all smooth this time? Regular, we was through there. I fuck with bro, he a good security. He holds and it down. I respect it, respect goes a long way. He just trying to make sure you safe. I can't do nothing but respect that because the homie's going to do the same thing for me. So He's standing on business. That's true. He literally works here, so it's a yeah, business. he's standing on business. And he's his business he's and he's protecting our business. Yeah, he's doing what he's supposed to do. Shout out to Tone. But I had a rapper in here the other day telling me he stuck, he snuck two blicks in here and the, the, got him past the search. 
It'd be like that salute to him too. He keep it, he keep it on me. I don't know if he hooped it or what. <laughs> Is shit really getting hooped like that in there though? In jail? Yeah. Man. Yeah. I had a, uh, you know, Jay Diggs? The pimp? Yeah, former pimp. He was on here saying that he used to have to hoop Za, hoop and Za to get it in. I sound crazy, hoop and Za. It was like too many like slang terms yeah. in one sentence for me. Niggas putting Za in his <laughs> cheeks for sure in there. I ain't do it though, blood, southeast. Right, well actually he was swallowing it and then having to shit out the balloons. And he told me a wild story he, about having to, like, they put him in solitary and, like, kept making him shit. He had to shit, like, four times before they would give it up. But he was, like, so in control of his stomach that he was able to, like, shit. Put him on potty wash. And keep the, keep the balloons inside him. Which I thought was pretty impressive. I don't think I could handle that. When I take a shit, I'm just taking a shit. Like, I don't know how to, like, keep the balloons in there. <laughs> you just be trained inmates. Right. So the music has been going pretty crazy lately, especially with you being My locked shit. up and everything. Yeah, you got like a bunch of songs that have been going nuts over the past like month or two. Two, yeah, three million yeah. views and shit. Like the fans are not losing interest with you being locked up. Yeah, and you got to stay consistent. You feel me? That's all it is. Nigga got to stay consistent. Just keep going. You feel me? Niggas might hit. Nigga might hit. Nigga might miss. But nigga going to always double back. You feel me? This shit ain't going to ever stop though. Right. Yeah, you niggas gonna keep going crazy. Right. But was that rough, like, being locked up? Like, you're having that fear of missing out, just, like, thinking about the fact that everybody else is getting to release music and your fans are just kind of having to wait? Yeah, but you just gotta have faith. That's real. You, you also, have faith. you gotta have a blunt with a fucking hospital gown on it, too. What, what's going on with that? Is yeah, that bro, really, I really like putting the white ones over them. I don't know, bro. This is how we smoke the dead niggas. <laughs> It makes it smoke a little bit better, or? Yeah, you got to compress them niggas so they don't get out. <laughs> yeah. Tea, so. Man, you want all the smoke, huh? Yeah, sometimes. Okay, but I'm watching some of your stuff, and you got some, like, vicious lyrics, but I notice you, you tend to bleep the dead people's names out more often than not. Yeah. Why, why do that? Why make that decision? The niggas dead. Niggas ain't got to, you feel me? They say them niggas' names sometimes, but like, them niggas did, so it wouldn't matter if I say them names or not say that names, because them niggas not here, so it's like, fuck them niggas. Just bleep them niggas' shits out, that's how, like. Let, let them wonder? Nah, because it's really fucked them niggas, so it's like, we show them niggas no respect. So sometimes we just bleep that shit out, but you know who we talking about. It's funny, though, because you're like, recording this shit at like three in the morning, right? And you're yeah, just sometimes you're just gone. You're just saying all the most disrespectful shit you can think of. And then when it comes time to actually shoot the video or put it on a project or whatever, your brain kind of like checks yourself and you're like, oh, no, maybe I don't actually want to put that energy out there into the world. They're not even the energy, but you don't want to give people, you don't want to make people famous necessarily. Exactly. You don't. But it's kind of crazy because somebody like King Vaughn, a big part of his career was sort of based on making his ops famous by talking about him all the time. It'd be like that. You respect that? This is another way to go about it. I mean, it? it is what it is. A nigga be having so much clout and be so much of a, a boy. It's like, any nigga I talk about, a lighter that motherfucker gonna be popping. Tell a nigga right now and there's no in this interview, like, man, I'm J Bo, I smoke I like all my blunts with this lighter right here. That lighter gonna be popping, they're gonna go grab it. So a nigga mentioning a dead nigga, everybody gonna wanna know who that is. Like, hold on, who this nigga? Right. That's just how it is. But is that for you, is that the the pros and cons? The pro is that you get to disrespect them, but the con is that now more people are gonna be looking them up, talking about them. Yeah, but it don't matter because he did. <laughs> right. You feel me? That's why I said like Either way go, no matter he did. I go promote a dead nigga song right now. No matter who's who gonna get the money for it. His family, I guess. Fuck it. Get the money for that shit. <laughs> Damn. Dead nigga can't get it. You ever feel a little heartless? Nah, I ain't heartless. I'm only talking about the uh, dead suckers. 
Right. I show remorse. If any, anybody else that lost their family and shit, I feel for you. I done lost some family too. But if I didn't like you and you died, nigga. This is what it is at that point. It is what it is. And I feel like that's what everybody, some people probably just ain't going to say it. It's funny for you because people want to hear you say that kind of shit. I don't know why. That's just how it is. I'm just going to say it. There was a dude I had beef with probably like 15 years ago who killed himself recently. And I told a couple of people in my life and I was laughing about it and having a good old time just like, look at this situation. And then I started to figure it out pretty quickly that like nobody thought it was cute for me to be laughing at this, that they actually thought that I seemed pretty disturbed for finding so much pleasure in this. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to fall back and not put it out there into the world. That just, man, people... People don't understand, huh? It's different when you voice that shit, bro, because I say some heartless shit like uh, a nigga I, a nigga died that I don't like, and I'll be like, man, fuck that nigga, he did. But it'll, po- it'll be a police officer that I don't like me because they know a nigga causing havoc in the city. And when I die, he'll be like, who? I'm happy he gone. Like, now we, now he's not a problem no more. That's the same shit. They just ain't going to say it out loud because it sound heartless. Right. But if a nigga thought it... Why is we wrong just because we gonna voice it? That don't even make sense. I'm just gonna say it, nigga. Fuck that nigga. He did. I, I didn't like him. But do you, like I didn't like him for no reason. Do you focus on death a lot? You think about like what it's gonna be like dying often? No, uh, we don't think about death. We ain't you feel me? We don't think about death. We don't talk about it. We don't speak into existence. It ain't it ain't happening right now. It ain't happening no time soon. Niggas gonna move accordingly. Definitely. I didn't really think about it at all until I had a kid. And then it got a little bit more scary of like, damn, I, if, if something bad happens to me, it would be like real consequences for, you know, the people that I brought into this world. Southeast. Mm. Um, okay, so part of when DC Baby Drago came on the podcast is that he was talking about a situation that happened with EBK Young Jock out here in Los Angeles. Uh, what do you think when you heard about that situation? What situation? Uh, there was a video alleging that uh, he might have had some property removed from his possession. Property. So, like, what you mean? Possibly a necklace of some sort. Like, how'd you, how'd you feel when you saw that situation making waves online? Shit happens, you feel me? That don't... That don't, that don't tarnish a nigga gangsta or tarnish a nigga image just because a nigga got something took from him. I'm not saying that it's cool to get something took from you either, you feel me? But when you slip up, shit like that happens. But that don't mean a nigga not a gangster or a nigga this or then that just because he slipped up and some fugazi shit happened. But niggas gonna throw dubs on it just because the image a nigga got. But if he was a regular nigga and not a rapper, and if he wasn't who he was, Niggas wouldn't give a fuck if he got his chain took. It would be like, oh, brother, you slipped. It's good. We're going to get that back. But since he got an image and he a public figure, that nigga's going to take it and run with it because his name Golden, it ain't nothing on his name. It ain't no schmutt on bro name. So now that they got something that they can, ooh, blow up real quick, they're going to take that and run with that for years now. Even though it's it was some Cali shit or we don't really know really the details even, of it. It but. really ain't even nothing. You feel me? It is what it is. Shit happens. It happened, nigga. It is what it is. Nigga, we moving forward. Nigga's going to stand on business from there. Nigga, and ask that. Niggas, niggas know. People tried to sell me that video. I told them I wasn't interested. Yeah, niggas ain't trying to watch that shit, bro. It is what it is, bro. Niggas don't run to the internet when niggas do shit like that, bro. Right. Come but on, bro. That's was, a crime. Was there part of you that when you saw that, you were like, nigga, this come shit. Come on, niggas leave that shit in the streets. Nigga, we don't... We don't do the Instagram shit. Niggas don't go do shit like that and run the Instagram, nigga. Niggas keep that shit in the streets, bro, on the southeast. Right. Niggas is the police. But I think part of why people were confused were like, they are like, why is a popping young rapper like Jock hanging out at a random fucking gas station in the hood and even being in a situation where this sort of thing could happen, right? Yeah, but... Niggas just gotta move accordingly. Yeah. Yeah, you niggas know. Brother, no. Accordingly. Right. But that was a 
that was one thing I, was, I thought you were going to be concerned about was that when I had Draco on that he was like making too too much of a joke out of that situation and I don't want to be looking like right I'm enjoying it you know like I because I, I like him I like him. he's a good kid I felt bad when I saw it happen you know I don't, it, I don't it encourage is, it that. happened ain't nothing to feel bad for brother at a gas station because we 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 could go wherever the fuck we want to go that's why you feel me at a gas station like that he just got you feel me it is what it is casualty of war but niggas gone there's no left right for sure for sure <laughs> Somebody gave me this question, but they said, do you prefer Fig, International, or Vegas? Hmm. I don't go to none of them places. I I just be chilling in the studio and shit. Okay. So you're, you're not purchasing vagina? Nah, I ain't got to purchase <laughs> no coochie. You feel me? It's coochie everywhere. Bro. Never in your whole life? Hell no. Nah. I would never. Why, that's like against your code or something? Mm, yeah. It just doesn't sit right with your soul? No. Do you buy coochie? Oh, I mean, I've I've been known to a couple <laughs> times in my life, you know? I don't think it's the worst way to spend some money. <laughs> huh? That was respectable. Yeah. <laughs> well, I heard there's a lot of that going on in Stockton as well. That that's, own a, blood. that's a very big pastime out there. I just ain't never really, I ain't never heard nobody really voice that. That's respectable, though. Stand on business now. Standing on business by getting a prostitute. I like that. Yeah. My but, mama, stand on business now. But also, I feel like, you know, you might want to, like, you know, just give yourself, like, a certain amount. Like, I'm going to spend $1,000 a month on some on some prostitutes. And that way, like, your music could kind of, like, touch on that a little bit more authentically. I can't do it, bro. <laughs> I'm, like, a Southeast thing. But, like... I don't knock it. It's different strokes for different folks. You feel me? Right. I don't knock it. Do your thing. What? Sometimes you just want to support a young lady who who needs help. I'm finna go try. I'm gonna get it for free. You feel me? I ain't mm. finna pay for nothing. You feel me? And if I can't get nothing for free, it is what it is. I ain't popping like that. It is what it is. We just, we dry dicking it. No coochie. Fuck it. Right. That's just how it's gonna be. Cause I ain't paying for that. Wasn't there a video of you kicking a girl out the car on Fig though? Nah. That wasn't you? No. Do you know what I'm talking about, though? Because it was titled yeah, like that was you, right? The niggas just be doing hella crazy shit when they tag me. Like, nigga, they ain't mean it. Okay. So that was, that was a rumor. Yeah, yeah crazy as hell, bro. Right. Shit like that, bro. I respect women. Shout out to all the women out there doing that thing, getting their back. Right. Feel me? Any type of way you get it. Fuck is you talking about? I don't give a fuck if you walk dogs. All day, nigga, and get paid for it. Do your thing, sis. Right. If you Definitely. if you out there, do you feel me working for yours? Do your thing, sis. I respect I, I mean, and salute it, to y'all. If you respect and support women, I think purchasing some of their services <laughs> might, might, might be one of the best ways. Tax free. Nah, I can't do that though. I mean, if it's uh, I go throw some ones at the strip club or something. Mm. I'm not finna egg hey, bitch. I got a band for you. Let me hit that. Mm -mm. No? Can't do it, sis. You want to make that choice on her own? So you'll throw ones at her until she feels like doing it, but you won't. Nah, that ain't it. <laughs> if I go to the strip club and throw some ones, it's just because that's what we on. We turned up. I ain't really throwing no ones just because I want to impress a bitch. Like, oh, if I throw some ones, this bitch going to leave with me. Like, bitch, you going to leave with a nigga or you not? I'm just going to throw these ones because a nigga can Fuck them, they're ones. Bitch, do it. This is what you, you twerking for this. I'm here to throw this. We throwing it. That's what we on. We in there. <laughs> What's your favorite strip club? Uh, I really don't know no names to no strip clubs. I didn't been to a few, though. Right. So I didn't been to a few. Only like two or three, though. But it's only like a once in a while thing? Yeah, like I ain't really with the club scenery, though. I've always been like that, too, where I, if the homies want to go, you might be able to convince me. But I'm never going to be, like, planning it out myself. And I know guys who go every every week, all, over and over and over, same strip club. They spend a lot of money there. That, to me, is kind of kind of wild. I just would never never think of doing yeah, that. I got PTSD. I don't like to be in the places where it's a lot of people, though. feel me? So I don't really do that, that club scenery. You feel me? I, ain't never, I did really one show. That really wasn't even a real show. I never even really did no shows. Right, because you were a pandemic baby. Yeah, I was in the county. And that. Bloods. <laughs> On blood. You know. um, okay, but 
Is that something you want to do more of? We could put together a tour because I well, I don't know. Is it hard for you to even get booked in spots because they consider you so dangerous? Nah, we ain't that dangerous, bro. We we for the kids. You feel me? And the kids know we got positive songs that send positive messages too. You feel me? We just rap about our story. That's it, you feel me? The police gonna label us what they wanna label us, but the fans know that we just telling our story. It's just, you feel me, it's in a different type of way. Right. You feel me, it's in a different type of way. We just voicing it different. Yeah, just letting the people know. On blood. How it goes down. On blood. We for the community, we for the kids. You feel me, we for everybody out there doing their thing and supporting us, we support them. So have you been having a lot of issues with your music leaking? Yeah. What's the root of that? Like, how, who's in, even involved in your musical creation process that lets that shit happen? Yeah, it really be my fault though. I'm gonna take the blame for it because it's my music. You feel me? Nigga, just be. We own it now though. Niggas got slaps right now. And the man getting leaked, but niggas, you know, it just be niggas all be in the studio high. Niggas make damn near ten songs every time. It's got like 10 songs. It's like everybody in there, airdrop on, like, oh, mm. send me this. And how they get to other people would be from, it just be from there, how, how that happened. So that really just be what it is, bro. But we own it now. I ain't, I ain't sending my music to nobody. I ain't even sending my music to my right hand. Bloods. Right. You know, that's my brother, but so it's not, not sending my music out. It's not you getting hacked. It's just you sending it to people to, to listen and shit. Yeah, you know, just trying to let the homies hear the music. We ain't doing that no more, though. We slapping that in the car. Right. It's got to be tough because you're, like, so hyped on the song, but at the same time you know it might not come out for months or a year yeah, or whatever. that's money. Niggas can't be losing money. Niggas losing money every time they get leaked. Right. But because that's one of the main comments that I read on your shit when I'm watching <laughs> your music videos is people just commenting, like, damn, I've been listening to this for, for a year, but it was, like, trash quality. Yeah. Cause it hasn't been mastered or anything like that. <laughs> so is, does that make you not want to put something out after it leaks, or is that just kind of build momentum for it? I put it out still. You put it out anyway. <laughs> That's on now. Because even on now. even when like mainstream rappers, their shit leaks and they won't put it out because it leaked. But at the same time, I feel like the leaker community is pretty fucking small. Usually songs don't really go viral when they leak because it's, like, hard to get it out there to the people. But it's different when you're getting it took down 10 times and every time you get it took down 10 times, it got 10,000 views. Mm. And they keep putting it back up every every time. Like, they don't never stop. So that shit add up because you don't know if them the same people coming back and slapping it or them a new 10,000 people. Yeah. So that shit add up. And then the motherfuckers will go, hey, what is that? That's a lighter? 50-round drum slash lighter, yeah. It's a, 50? It's a whole thing. Apparently, Man. we can't, like, sell these because... They blow my shit up. It looks like too much of a of what we modeled it after. But it's also just... It, it's cool because you can have it on the table and people won't steal it. Because you, like, can't get the lighter out. I've tried to get the lighter out. It's fucking glued in there. I don't understand what the hell happened. But... Yeah, a lot of people freak out when they see it. Who are we talking to? <laughs> What's going on? They, he's talking about FYBJ Main with the whoops in front of the Vaughn Memorial. Yeah, that might not go over too good. Oh, man. We're going to need the, the, the doctor version of J Main to help out the regular version yeah, of J Main. Potentially. Um, okay. So um, I wanted to ask this. Do you so, feel like you're still 100% down with the, the sample wave in terms of the music? Is that still popping? Or do you feel like the samples are getting a little played out? Nah, I'll never get played out when I'm hopping on them. Because I feel like, yeah, you're somebody who's still... I feel like Stockton has like a drill scene. Like, like... I'm sure you don't consider your music drill, but like it's more like drill than like the music in in L.A. or in the Bay or anything like that. You relate to that at all? Yeah, niggas be for me talking crazy in the music. Some like drill music. Right, and then it's also like 
I don't know. This, but I mean, it's like a different style of beat, though. What's up with those like weird laser noises in all your beats? What you mean by that? You know what I'm talking about? It's like I don't even know how to describe it, but it's like one consistent sound that I feel like you have in all your beats. I don't know. Like I just get the beats and hop on the motherfuckers. Okay. Do you got any producers that are coming up right now? Hey Taiwan and shit. What Brody got bands? Wooski. Wooski. That's a Sparky. producer. You the regular niggas. Who am I? I ain't missing nobody. Real. 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 Definitely. Um. Chilling niggas. When you said that you'll get a girlfriend before you kick the cup. You're that against having a, a girlfriend or like a long term relationship? Yeah, I don't want a girlfriend. That just really doesn't appeal to you? No. Um Yeah. I don't know if it's just that label. That label just sounds so immature to me, having a girlfriend. Right. Like, I don't know. Just something about that label. You should just get married. I'm trying though. to act like I'm just hella boy and I just Oh, I need this many hoes, and I need, nah, but fuck, I look like, I just don't see myself, you my girlfriend. Bitch, we in the sixth grade. <laughs> fuck, I ain't finna be over, boyfriend. Could you have a wife, though? One day. You might need a wife before you get a girlfriend. One day. Okay, makes sense. Right now, you know, I'm 20, you feel me? I'm, I'm chilling. What was, uh, I seen a video of you going to Oak Park. The market and shit. What, what were you doing up there? It's kind of a hike, right? That wasn't me. It wasn't? There's a lot of people reporting on it saying it was you. They be doing crazy shit on Instagram, bro. They got this shit where they could photo crop a nigga face on pandas and dolphins. You can do hella shit. You can do <laughs> hella shit. I mean, do hella shit with them phones but now. I don't even know if we saw your face because it was all filmed like an Instagram live type shit. So it was facing exactly. the other way. You can do hella shit with them phones. Okay. They can turn this whole room into something else right now. It won't even look like we sitting doing an interview. We'd right. be watching Madden. Right. They could use AI. It'll look like I'm interviewing Jay-Z right now. Come on, bro. I don't know who that was. <laughs> um, well, they said you were looking for B.O.E. Moo Moo. I don't know him. Not true? I don't know blood. Okay. It's complicated up there, man. There's a lot of different shit going on. It's hella shit going on on them kids on Instagram and shit, bro. We don't get nothing under that. Feel me? Niggas fighting cases. Free the thugs, you feel me? Free, free, free playing them, man. They innocent. We don't, I don't know no ops or no niggas that say they funk with me. You feel me? I'm a, I'm a rapping father. Mm. That's what I am. How old's your kid now? He's one. That must have been rough not being able to see him for six months, huh? Six months. So you got a nigga got to make up for all that lost time right now. You feel me? So I don't know nothing about no uh, niggas that don't like, don't like me and it's hating. I don't know. Niggas don't got no more. No, if niggas don't got more money than me, um, I don't phone for them. Right. For sure. Um, do you want to tell me about... Uh, casino a little bit because I know you got it on your face and you got the chain going on. Like, what was your relationship with him like? It's like my uncle, not my blood uncle, but it's how I see him as an uncle. Uh huh. Me as one of my dad's closest friends when I was younger. And he just died recently? Nah, he died like what, 2016? Oh, okay. And you must have had a really close relationship with him if you're putting him on your face and on your chain, huh? It's my uncle, bro. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Definitely. Um, I had this crazy experience where I was on this boat in France, and they let me play the music, and I put on my kids' playlist because it was like a bunch of like rock songs or whatever. I was like, I want to keep the, the atmosphere light as long as we're on this boat. I don't want to be playing some crazy-ass drill music or whatever. But then iTunes, as soon as it hit the end of the playlist, decided to play EBK j -Bo. There's a lot of confused looks on the boat. A lot of people in <laughs> France don't seem like they really understood the sound, but at the same time, I felt I felt the sample kind of drawing them in, where it still felt a little familiar to them. On the South days, that deathbeds, I think it was. Deathbeds, yeah, that's a that's a uh, very good put 
good put together for song. Right. That that song was put together good. Like if you wanted to introduce somebody to your music, that might be a good way to get them involved. Exactly. That's the song I give to people. Like I'm running somebody that asks me if I rap, but there'd be somebody that's not like little same lifestyle is. So I tell them like, go slap this song, and then slap it and be like that shit. That should go crazy. Right. Definitely. Um. Okay. So. What are you working on right now? Because I feel like one thing you really need is like a, a new full length project on the streaming services and shit. I got an album coming October 27th. Really? October 27th? This is going to have a lot of the stuff that's already been on YouTube or all new music? New music. Nothing that's already been released on YouTube? I feel like a lot of those songs, they really need like a home on streaming services to make it easy for people. Which to was just... you talking about? I mean, I don't know, all the ones over the last, like, year, because you, your last tape was in 2022, so a lot of the shit just... Are you talking about them old songs that I released on Thizzler and shit? Mm, some of that, but you just have, like, a bunch of shit you released that hasn't really made its way to streaming services yet, right? Because is, is it hard with the samples and everything? You talking about, like, my shit on my YouTube? Yeah. I don't know. I really just dropped that shit and then keep it pushing. Is it hard to put shit out, though, because of the samples, or is that not really a, a I factor? Mean, shit. It depends on what kind of sample it is or who sample it is. Right. Definitely. Um, all right, so any anything about that project? Any any features that you're planning on getting or anything you're excited about in regards to all that? No, nah, no guest appearances. Ain't nobody on my shit. All you, the whole way through? All me. That's fire. Happy to hear that. Um... All right. Anything else you got going on besides this project? Just living, living my best life, bro. That's all I can do. Staying out, staying out of jail, staying out the way, head on right. Get this money. That's what's up. Just get this bag that's out there. You feel me? Got a bag for me. I'm collecting. Hundred percent. All right. Um. I appreciate your time. Glad that we got to check in again. So thanks. For sure. And uh, are there any L.A. rappers that you'd want to work on music with? Mm. Maybe we could make it happen. Maybe we could have have No Jumper tell him, let's make this J-Bo feature happen and see what that collision. Wait, who rappers here? I don't even know no rappers out here. Not even trying to like for me. I fuck and I fuck with LA. <laughs> they show love out here, but I can't even think off my head no rappers out here right now. Right. I mean this ain't my jurisdiction to be honest. You feel me? Not even on no boozy shit or nothing. But I really just can't think right now. No no. LA rappers. No, it's all right. It's understandable. We're we're kind of at like a there's ups and downs for the LA music world. I feel like they're kind of at a low point right now. Yeah, it's good. They're gonna come back though. For sure. See, LA got legends. That's a fact. They got legends out here. R.I.P. Draco. On my mama. On bloods. After that, it's kind of been the, the dark ages, I feel like. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's real legends out here, though, so they're going to get it together. 100%. Big, big music scene out here. That's a fact. All right, EBK J-Bo, appreciate you, man. All right, geez. Much love. One, free max. No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Check us on Be YouTube, black. TikTok, Patreon, etc. Like, comment, and subscribe, nojumper.com if you want to support.